Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingersFlyShop.com, bringing you another video today from the shop and uh, with a guest tire. We got Nick Malloy in here again with us, and he's going to show us another one of the fit patterns that he fishes a lot in competitions, and uh, he's going to tie it on his hook from Trout of Goods. So, uh, what are you going to tie today, Nick? Uh, I'm going to tie. It's just a uh, hot butt wall swarm uh, or a tag nymph, whatever you want to call it. It's just super simple. Um, it's just thread tag and just dubbing um, so we can get started this is on a size 18 with a uh, a 2.5 or 2.4 millimeter copper bead um, you could tie it in a 2.0 in on this 18 or you can go with a bigger hook um, but this is a, a little bit oversized bead on this 18 um, but I like to do that sometimes I'll split it half and half with that in a, a 2.0 um, so I'll start my thread at the beginning here, uh, I'll take it back, not even halfway. This is just UTC 70 uh, fluorescent pink. Um, but for the tail, or the tag, I'm going to use something different. This is actually Glow Bright. You're going to Glow Bright, it's uh, pink. We got it in a couple different colors, but this one's pink. Yeah, we pink or uh, green or red or even white. Uh, I think I use orange too. Uh, orange is nice for some of these. Yeah, I've been using orange on my waltz worms. So you, you put these, I, like I, what I like to do is take a big hunk of it uh, and I'll grab half of it. You can see in the video here maybe. Um, and then I'll just double the ends over so it's just a little thicker. Uh, it doesn't really make a good, like a thicker profile, which is nice. It's just like thread laying on there. So I'll put that behind the bead and just pull it back and not make it too thick, not double over or anything. And then once I get it back there, I'll just snip it a little bit. Um, you can wait until the end to do this, or you can snip it long and then trim it up, which I will do because it's a little long. Um, but we're halfway done with this fly already. I don't put any wire or anything on these or flash. Sometimes you can, but I don't think you need it. So I'll put a little bit of wax on there because I'm weird like that. Uh, and then I'm just using a hair's ear dubbing. You can use any color you want, but like a drab gray or a tan works the best for me. I'll just do a really thin noodle on here. Kind of get it nice and... And, and you can just notice how he's just covering the thread with it. He's not adding to the thread. He's just covering, changing the color of the thread. Yeah, as you can see on there, that's, that's super thin. It's just like a, a really slim profile. And then I'll just dub up as thin as possible and just reach the top. That one was actually kind of perfect. It was perfect. <laughs> so it's just a nice little taper up. You don't have to do anything crazy because uh, it is a waltz worm, so you want to imitate whatever. Uh, and then we're done. We just do a couple whip finishes on there to lock it down. And we're solid. Not too thick. Uh, not a big thread base there. And you're set. There it is. Oh, and then I'll trim that tag up a little bit just for, just for fun. Kind of. Miss a few, but there we go. All right, there you see how small he ties his flies, and this is what he uses in competitions. And um, that's one of the biggest things to get past in your in your thought process that, that you need big heavy flies to get you down with the leaders, the right leader setup and stuff. This stuff sinks like a rock, so don't be afraid to go this small. And uh, we really enjoy having Nick here tying with us, and we want you to check out his hooks. We carry him here at the shop now. We ha he has um, three styles of hooks. You have the upside downy, the out tuna curvy, and what's your third one? The old man, which the old is man. a dry fly hook. Yep. So he has all the covers. You cover your caddis hook, a dry fly hook, and your jig hook, which mm -hmm. is what you mostly use. So um, give them a look on their website and check him out on Trotta Goods. And where else can they find you? Uh, at Nick Malloy on Instagram and at Trotta Goods on Instagram. That's where you can find me. So thanks for coming again, and uh, I'm sure we'll have him back on here sometime soon. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Sean Holsinger. Thank you.